Hello dear friends, welcome back to my channel. So just a quick recap. So in my part 1 and 2, I showed you the stunning Arab hall, staircase, drawing room, dining room and the silk room. So in this final part, let's explore some more rooms and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you will not going to miss any of my upcoming vlogs. So Lord Leighton was one of the most famous British artists of the Victorian age, establishing an international standing and reputation. So Leighton's career was always cushioned by his family wealth, his father paying him an allowance throughout his life. Leighton was born in Scarborough, Yorkshire, to a medical family. His father was a doctor and his grandfather had been the primary physician to the Imperial Russian royal family in St. Petersburg. Leighton's family moved abroad when he was just 11 years old for the sake of his mother's health. He grew up fluent in four languages and was exposed to many of the great cities and art collections around Europe at a young age. So his family was eventually settled in Frankfurt, Germany, where Leighton enrolled at the art school. There he came under the strong influence of his painting master Edward. So enjoy a few glimpses of the dining room. The porcelain really looks fantastic. So the silk room looks amazing too. So let's start the house tour again. So that's the bedroom of Leighton. So this was Leighton only truly private space in a home that was so much about presentation and display. So Leighton died in this room in January 1896. His final words were, my love to the Royal Academy. He then spoke to his two sisters in German determined as ever to separate his public and private worlds. So that's the grand studio of the house. As you can see, it's a huge hall-like room and it was so impressive, full of artwork, paintings and many more things. So this was both a showroom and a function workspace where virtually all the paintings of Leighton's mature career were produced. So every spring, some of the most prominent international musicians of the day, including violinist Joseph Singer Pauline and pianist Clara, performed in the studio for a select group of Leighton's friends. Must be a great fun, really. Such a treat. I could stay here for a very long time and just enjoy looking at all the paintings and artwork. I felt this thing that the atmosphere is quite relaxed and welcoming. People that were sitting there, they were just enjoying the ambience of the studio and were quite relaxed and happy. Now you are looking at the winter studio. At the end of the 1880s, he added this additional studio space, complete with its own heating system, especially for use through the winter months. So the space allowed the best use of the winter daylight that was available. will see some of his works. Now you're looking at the shop. 
Here you will find all sorts of things. All things are so beautiful and colorful and full of artistic flair. The portraits and artifacts you see here, they are just for the purpose of display but not for sale. But these pretty items are for sale. Actually the shop is also in the lobby section. This beautiful display of porcelain is in the coffee shop where you can enjoy coffee and you can see all this porcelain as well. Isn't it fantastic? Oh my goodness, I just love all these yummy things. That's the coffee shop. I was so tired so I just decided to take a coffee break so I'll have my coffee now and I'll just relax so that's my coffee and brownie please don't forget to like subscribe and share if you want to enjoy similar vlogs thank you so much bye